Happy Halloween! To everyone out there! I hope you all have a spooktacular Halloween! Welcome to OJ Studios! Please enjoy today's short story trick or teat by Olivia Julius! I looked at the purple princess costume that was laying on my bed. It wasn't there when I left for school this morning and I have no idea how it got there. The dress is too small and way too girly for my little 9 year old sister Mackenzie to wear. I picked it up to examine it to find a pair of white tights and a pair of purple small, heeled shoes were hiding under it. I grabbed the items and headed downstairs where I knew my mom was on the phone talking to the pizza place ordering dinner for tonight. I walked into the dining room ready to ask mom what was going on but was quickly stopped. I know what you're going to ask. Mom said pointing to the dress and yes I put that in your room. Why? I asked. This is for a little girl. Well Eric, it's simple. Mom said folding her arms. Last year I asked you to take Mackenzie out trick or treating in the neighborhood so I can work and all you did was go out with your friends leaving your sister behind. Last year I told you that this year I will make you go. Look I'm not going to say refusing to go with my sister trick or treating is bad. Give me a break I'm 17 years old. Last year I had just gotten my license and a date with Ashley the prettiest girl in school. I mean what would you rather do? Go to a haunted house with Ashley and hold her tight as we go through a haunted house? Or go trick or treating with an 8 year old? So what? I must take Mackenzie and another little kid this year? I asked. Nope. Mom said, in fact you will be the one that is taken through the neighborhood. What? I began to ask but then I stopped. Mom held out a silver charm bracelet. Let me see your wrist. Mom demanded, instantly I knew what that is for. Wait no! I said illumination about my ordeal was coming to light. That bracelet was part of an ancient artifact that has been in our family for generations. It can turn the wearer into anything the spellcaster commands it to. I never seen it before, but I have seen pictures of it. Mom no! I said trying to get away, but Mom just pulled out her wand and hit me with the spell that prevented me from moving. I tried to move and get away from her, but I could move. Mom took my left hand and slipped the bracelet onto my wrist. Don't worry it's just for tonight. Mom unfroze me and I instantly tried to take off the bracelet, but I couldn't. Don't waste your time. I'm the only one that can take that bracelet from you. Just relax, the spell will start working soon. I could feel the spell start to work as my left wrist started to shrink. My muscular arm turned into a small delicate hairless arm of a little girl. As the spell went through me, I could feel my 17 year old body start to shrink and I started to become a little girl. My short brown hair quickly grew becoming lighter till my hair was now blonde in shoulder length. My 5 o'clock stubble disappeared and became soft and smooth. As I shrunk my clothes became too big for me my jeans and boxers fell around my legs and my t-shirt was now like a dress on me. Once the spell was done mom smiled down at me. I looked at my wrist where the bracelet once was, but the bracelet had been absorbed into my skin the only thing that proved that it was still on me was a heart shaped birthmark on my wrist. Okay Katie! It's time to get your Halloween costume on! Katie really? I asked now with the little girl's voice. What didn't you think I was going to call you Eric while you are looking like that? Mom said with a laugh. Trust me Katie suits you far better. Mom grabbed the princess dress and put it up to me. I tell you what I am the expert of knowing how to pick sizes. Mom said cheerfully. I wasn't sure if this little dress would fit on your new 7 year old body, but dang I was on the money. Please turn me back. I pleaded but mom just grabbed a hold of my shirt. My reflexes kicked in and I held the shirt down so mom couldn't pull it off. What are you doing? I'm kind of naked without this. You won't be for very long. Mom said now forcing the shirt off me. I instantly covered up myself not wanting me or my mom to see my new body without clothes. Here since you're so worried. Mom said throwing me a pair of pink panties with princess on them. They're for girls. I said picking them up. Have you seen yourself recently? Mom asked I rolled my eyes and slip on the panties glad to be at least wearing something. Mom then told me to sit down on one of the dining room tables. She rolled up the tights one leg at a time and started to put the tights on my legs. I wanted to fight her, but 
but I knew that if I did mom wouldn't make the bracelet reappear and I would be stuck as a little girl for only who know how long. Once the tights were on, mom told me to raise my arms where she put the princess dress over my head. I put my hand there the puffy sleeves. Mom fiddled with the dress as she made sure it fit me perfectly. I looked down and I couldn't even see me feet through the skirting on the dress. I felt awkward wearing this and I wanted nothing more than to take it off. Mom walked me over to a mirror where I got to see the first glimpse of me after the spell. The girl in the mirror stood there, she was wearing the purple dress and even though she was frowning she still looked adorable in it. My brown eyes were replaced by beautiful light blue eyes. I reached up and touched my blonde hair amazed that the spell did such a great job in turning me into a girl. Mom handed me a purple Halloween bucket that was shaped like a jack-o-lantern and a sparkling fairy princess wand with a star on the top. I hope you don't mind. I took your wand for safekeeping so this will have to do. Mom said taking a picture of me. I can't wait till you come back and show me how much candy you got. Till I come back? I asked, aren't you coming with me? Oh no. I have to work the night shift tonight your older sister is taking you. She's only nine she can't take me alone. Mom smiled at that comment. That is where you are wrong Katie. Mom turned around and yelled for Mackenzie to come on out. Mackenzie acknowledged Mom and walked out of the kitchen. Only at once exactly Mackenzie. Instead of her nine-year-old self she had grown to be in her teens. Ah! You did such a great job Mom! Mackenzie said bending down to me. Is that really you? I asked. Of course, it's me silly. Mackenzie said with a little giggle. Mom cast a spell on me turning me older so I can babysit my darling little sitter. She petted my head a little. Of we're going to have so much fun tonight aren't we Katie? I stood there motionless not knowing how to react to this.